You ready? Yeah. We are doing Scorpio. Scorpio, welcome to Virtual Tarot. I'm Ava. And I am Trudy. And we're going to do your four card spread here for the month of February. Finally. Sorry. Where's the, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, poor Trudy was ill. Yes, I she's was. She's all better now. I have my pillow. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, here we are. We're a little blanky. <laughs> yes. We're going to give away the council card for January. So please look out for that. That yeah. is our. Oh, except Scorpio, you already got it. Oh. You already so got yours. You so never care. mind. But check your rising and your moon because yeah. they'll be posted as yeah. well. Yeah. And your boyfriends will be or your husbands. Which or anybody that you care about. Your frenemy. Um, yeah. So check that. And uh, okay. So we're going to get right into it this right. month. This is Scorpio. We're going to do a four card spread for the month of February. And the first card represents the general overall environment of the month for you. Second is the challenge. Third card represents... The unexpected. And the fourth is the outcome. And I'm going to cut the cards just to make sure that we are at completely spontaneous. Ta-da! Now, we'll see. Oh. <gasps> She's already cut the cards. Scorpio. Two of swords. I have to tell you, I have some Scorpio friends. And boy, this card resonates. It's the Two of Swords. I'm going to actually get up in my wallpaper suit. <laughs> Hold this up. It does look like wallpaper. It's, I'm wearing my couch. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Two of Swords. You can see what's going on there. You see that blindfold? Yeah. All right, we're going to start talking about this card. So what it's saying is that um, there's some sort of decision that needs to be made that either you're not facing some fact concerning it, kind of burying your head in the sand about it, or that you don't have all the facts available to make this important decision because it uh, crosses your heart. So it is um, a heart, though it's, a, it's an intellectual choice, nonetheless, behind it is your heart. And so it will make a difference to your heart, what how you choose. But it, it has to be done rationally. But you're not quite able to do that either because you're swimming down the river of denial. <laughs> or you simply don't know enough yet to choose. And we've often, in the past, <laughs> I do love this visual. Yeah. But so this is like stuffing all of the debris in your home into the closet and having a dinner party. Mm -hmm. So there's stuff going on like that it needs to be dealt with that you're just kind of going, yeah, I'm just going to throw that under the rug, under the bed. Right. <laughs> so on the surface, everything looks fine, uh -huh. calm serene but it's some you know you know that you're gonna have to deal with this at some, some point. point yeah so the whole month seems to be have this mood about it of well i've got to make this choice but i i don't i don't really want to or i can't for some reason it's sort of like because i don't want to deal with a mess or it's just putting you into a position of being of, of stagnation mm -hmm. yeah and eventually yeah. you have to deal with the mess yeah, whatever it is. Or, whatever it is. Or whatever, if it's a mess, if, or if it's just something, some unknown that aspect sort of, of it. puts your life out of balance for a little while. Yeah. So you have well, to, you know, it's nicer right. to just kind of cruise, go on cruise control, right? Yeah. You know what's so funny? A friend of mine was just telling me that his car, get this, he doesn't have to drive it. Well, he does, he has to steer it, but it senses how far ahead of him, the car ahead of him is? Yes. So he and doesn't have to actually put his foot on the gas? The car just kind of follows the other car? Well, this is when you hope that those robots in the car know what they're doing. Well, he's driving the car. Mm -hmm. But he's sort of allowing the car in front of him to decide how fast to drive. To well, that's still his car's decision. Yeah, he's not yeah. making the decision. He's not making it. The car is. That's what I'm saying is that mm -hmm. we're giving over our 
um, our will, our will, our our decision making process to a, an automated thing, which is kind of like this card. But it's interesting because we have just pulled. Oh, I didn't even know that. Oh my gosh, we pulled the chariot. <laughs> We're talking about cars. <laughs> All right, I gotta hold the chariot up. There you go. In the position of a challenge, so it's it's to, it it's, to um, it's to it's to head uh, it to 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 pull everything together within you. To bring everything, all your resources, all your energies together so that you can move straight ahead to your target. Exactly. Isn't that strange that we were mm -hmm. just talking about cars? Mm -hmm. Wow, Scorpio. Yeah. So you have to harness your energy and your ambition. And your ambition. And um, you have to like put your hand on the get off the automatic go to the manual <laughs> four on the floor baby so while you're in suspended animation with the two of swords your challenge is to get on the rail and to locomotively move straight to your target to to put some fuel in your engine in a sense and to get it done and to move your ambition forward. Which is interesting with the two because the two is saying you're sort of giving up control because you're in stasis. Like you're really afraid that if you make a decision, oh. any decision whatsoever, be it to go into first gear or second gear or third gear or fourth gear, it's going to put you off balance. So you're on yeah. automatic pilot right now. Right, right. So you need to take control of that airplane, okay? Or car or whatever metaphor you want to come up with. The vehicle. Your vehicle to get there. You need to get in the driver's seat. Right. The the you have to get you have to be in charge. Yeah. Stop letting somebody else drive your car. Right. All right. There you go. <laughs> Next. And once again, I oh think they got this Oh my before. gosh. They always get this. Ten of Wands. Okay. I believe they got it. I gotta hold it up. I wish I didn't have to like They got it in, in January. And they got it in December. December, they got it reversed. They got it reversed, but it's back. All your chores are back. And they got it again. <laughs> they got it again. Yep. Um, because they've already listened to their reading. Yep. They got it again in January. Well, if you... Okay, so I remember it was in reverse, okay? So in it's just... Jumped... December, but not in January. Okay, so you... Okay, so you're, once again, overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Overworked and underpaid. <laughs> <laughs> well, not underpaid. Well, I don't but know. Overworked, definitely. Overworked. I mean, ten is the highest. Maybe you are part. overpaid. That's true. You might mm -hmm. be overpaid, but you're still overworked. <laughs> you're overworked, but you you deliver the goods. Yeah, and this is you know, this is like, hey, I don't know where I'm going to end up because I can't see straight because I'm looking down at the ground because I've got so much responsibility, mm -hmm. but it's still a ten. Yeah, and you make it. Unexpectedly, maybe you're not expecting to to deliver your bounty, but you do. Or um, bear the shoulder burden, it. shoulder the responsibility, um, the the projects, the job, all the stuff you have going on. Right. You can shoulder it, and um, oh, you can for yeah. everyone. And you like. cross the line. You cross the finish line. You win. So let's see what's going on because their challenge is to cross the finish line. Oh, and you and then you rest at the end of the <laughs> uh, Then you take a hiatus. Well that's what it is. Well unexpected you unexpectedly you've got so many projects. Okay, so let's move on to this board. Never mind. I'm going backwards. Sorry, All right. folks. Alright, let's see this card. It's the four of swords. Mm -hmm. It's mental reprieve. It's mental rest. It's taking a, a, a mental holiday. Not mental like you go crazy and take holiday. No, no. It's not <laughs> like going mental. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> word is a charged word, isn't it? Yeah, right? it is a charged word. But it's really about um, it's really it's really about reevaluation. And uh, which is interesting, this re this four of swords coming up, and, and, and I always like to look at these two because the two of swords is telling us that you're not evaluating anything. <laughs> you're just sort of like ignoring. It's kind of like sticking your head in the sand like an ostrich. 
But at the end, what we have is this card of evaluation, which is, in, you know, that's the end of the month. Yeah. So at the beginning, you're ignoring it. In the end, you're reviewing it. Yes. And that's good. If that has, you know, ch ch your challenge seems to be to get back in the driver's seat. And maybe this reevaluation is necessary um, in order to do that. Because here we have this, this Ten of Wands. Yeah. Um, so it seems like even though you're you're kind of overworked, um, you're feeling like a martyr a little bit. Maybe you feel as if you're shouldering the um, most of the responsibility within your career, your family, or wherever you find yourself. Um, you're still gonna get some time off here. Oh yeah, it could be like a um, a winter vacation. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know where you. Or you just create your own sanctuary and you go meditate within it because you need mental balance. You, you need uh, to restore uh, a healing, you know, mental healing. And uh, it could be because of the, the um, see your challenge is the chariots. So your challenge is to keep up. Yeah. Your challenge is to keep up. Yep. To keep up with it all. And I'm going to say also... Your challenge could be travel. It could. And so this is a really mundane way of reading this, but that may play a real central role in this reevaluation of whatever you're ignoring. Right, exactly, exactly. The need to travel, the need the need not to, to travel. Expand your horizon. You may not words, want to know? travel. That's the other thing. It may there may be travel required and that's a, a burden. Mm -hmm. Um so you may need to reevaluate and will reevaluate the situation because mm -hmm. of travel. Mm -hmm. um, so just another. So, so some sort of break at the end of the month. You get a, uh, either you you give it to yourself, or you're given um, a, a little bit of a um, like a mini holiday mm -hmm. where you can recharge. Yeah, and that could be too because maybe this the challenge is to get away. It could be to get away and then reevaluate the situation. Yeah, because you're you're but but unexpectedly you do um, your vision bears fruit. In other words, your harvest from from all your your create your creativity actually um, you can handle it. You can handle it. You you are capable of um, finding a productive way to express it all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. There you go. <laughs> well, Scorpio, um, okay, so we have a fifth card, Major Arcana Council. Mm -hmm. And I would, if you, you don't subscribe, I would subscribe. It's $5 a month to get it. 12 well, and you get all the archives we we gave you the free council card last month so yeah. if you haven't uh, taken the time to listen to that please do it'll give you an idea what the council cards are like you get a re uh, sort of evaluation of this reading and yes. also a fifth card yeah and then also um ava and i provide private personal readings um, from us directly you can choose which one you would like to have uh read for you uh, these are personal, very private. They're all for you individually and concerns whatever problems or issues you're having. And you can click on the link below. Um, go to our website. Yeah. And I think that will That's sum it. it up for Scorpio. And thank you so much for joining us. We will see you in the month of March. Yes. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Bye, Scorpio. Now I'm going to wallpaper you out like this. It's my mother's couch. See if I can totally cover the screen.